what do you think about team building exercises at its an off site that might not be at all related to work events where perhaps you're trying to uh, build something as part of an exercise and you force the different departments uh, to work together. I know, you know some of the early research on this showed that the uh, us them groups could be rearranged pretty easily and pretty quickly just by sort of changing the rules of the game where now you're not competing. Now you've got to cooperate to beat something else or to meet a common objective. Uh, what, you know, corporations try this periodically. What's what's your take, Melina? I'm a fan of them when they're done well and thoughtfully, as with most things, right? So um, the forced fun uh, without a clear objective and, you know, there's the, I joke in the book about the virtual, like the Zoom happy hours that people were having to do early in the pandemic that no one thought was fun, right? They were not good for anybody. Um, but, you know, the there's a reason that things like, trust falls, you know, became so popular and cliche, uh, but it's not about the fall specifically, right? But it's about understanding, again, what you're trying to do, what you want to have at the end of this meeting and what the, the point is, you know, why are we doing any of this? I am a big fan of getting out of the norm of the space that you're in. Like when I'm working on writing a book, um, I rent a house that I'm able to go to and sort of exist in that space uh, in book writing. I always bring some sort of a project like a Lego set that I'm able to be building. So I get that mind wandering time on my own. And, you know, for companies having that difference of, the mundane, you know, you're able to get out of that. You get people in that kind of uncertain situation where they maybe feel a little bit vulnerable. It can be a really quick and easy way to build some of those bonds. But again, you have to make sure that you don't have everyone from one department sitting together and then another department together. Uh, that if you care, you're trying to bridge those gaps, you need to be intentionally setting up projects and things that people are doing and who they're working with and what they're talking about with that in mind. And again, it doesn't have to be hard, but it does have to be thoughtful. Mm -hmm.